What is up, what's up, what is up, FS Club? Welcome back to the channel. Well, guess what, guys? FS Daily News is back. Hopefully, you guys didn't miss us. But anyways, today, we have a testing list to go over. A big one, actually. We have a few mods and, of course, a lot of news. But anyways, before we begin, guys, make sure you guys pin the comment section below. Hashtag FS Daily News. And also, guys, let's try for 300 likes. So make sure you guys do smash that like button. Roll that intro. Here we go. Welcome back. Okay, so the first piece of news, guys, is a big one. 82 Square Studios has been just rolling out mods. Well, guess what? He has sent another one to Giants to be tested. This is the TLX X52 High Capacity Tipper. Capacity on this thing, 82,820 liters, 108,200 liters, and the big one right here, guys, 250,000 liters. That is a lot. Then plus, also, we got forestry uh, configurations. Wheels, there's three options. Cover, yes or no. Dynamic suspension, unloading, tip back or grain door. Lights, no, bottom and top. And then it's also going to have a rear hitch. This is going to go good with the TLX Phoenix 1.1 update that hopefully will be coming out by this week. And now on to the next piece of news, and this is from North Mod and Company, a new project they are working on, the BM Volvo DR631, also known as the Gravel Charlie. Some facts about the BM Volvo DR631. The world's first all-wheel drive dumper with articulated steering. Uh, production year was 1966 to 1967. Horsepower 65, capacity is 10,000 kg on that. This will be coming out to all platforms right here. Okay, now onto the next piece of news, which is from Black Sheep Modding. Coming soon for all platforms, a Stahl RE581 Plus High Pressure Washer. It will be a placeable and a transportable thanks to the Bachman trailer delivered in the pack. So this is going to be awesome, mainly with that TLX pulling it. So there is that one from Black Sheep Modding. And now also speaking about trucks, a new truck will be coming to Farming Simulator. This is from Farm Central Soul. This is the Ford F100 from the 70s right here. And of course, it's going to be rebranded for console. So it'll probably be the Lizard F100 right here. And then the next one, a new telehandler will be coming out soon. This is the JCB Loadall made by Ross and Mods. And yes, this is going to be coming to all platforms too. And then after that one, a big one, and this is from Case Aries Modding. The Case 2388 US is finally done, which it is aimed for all platforms. We need more cases, actually. There's not much case in the game. Uh, they have this to say, though. Our combine is finally done, which means it will be uploaded to Giants. For the first instance, we'll upload the combine only. In the future, Case IH 1020 header and the Easy Trail trailer will be uploaded, too. So that looks amazing. Also, we are supposed to be getting an early preview copy sometime soon. And once we do, I will be able to show it off on this channel, guys. It looks like an amazing case. Okay, now on to the last piece of news for today, which I'm pretty sure everybody knows about this, but Custom Modding is working on an update for the Case IH 2150 Early Rise Planter series. Uh, they are now going to be having a 12, 16, and 24 rows. This is amazing right here. Uh, like they said, we already have a 16 rows, and in the next few days, we will get the update for the smallest of the series, 12 rows. Then closing the 2150 series, it will be the biggest and most requested, 24 rows, 60 foot wow that's going to be amazing of course on you know lancy boy's new american life of farming or lone oak stone valley stuff like that but that is not it from them they also announced something else their biggest challenge to date the 2160 yes the 2160 which guys this one wow the case ih 2160 large front end fold trailing 90 foot Wow, that is going to be amazing. I wonder how much horsepower that thing is going to take to actually run it. But yeah, that is amazing right there from Custom Modding. Can't expect that hopefully by this, well, sometime this summer. So there's all the regular news for today. Of course, we got some new mods on console. Let's go over them real quick. We're not actually going to jump on the console because we only got like, I think, three or four. So we're just going to go over them on here. And then, of course, we're going to be going to that testing list. So the new mods for all platforms, we got the Brindle K195. We got the Garrick 14 by 28. We got Bug Zapper. We got Rake. We got an update to the Class Liner 500 Profile L. Update to Car Transport Trailer. Update to the Lizard MT. Update to Pack Tetra E6. Update to Agricultural Rollers. Update to Small Open Building. 
and that is it so that is on all platforms right there okay let's get to that testing list and that testing list for today is actually pretty big let's see on pc side we have the agrimark portable fueling canister american life of farming is finally in our testing animal food pack bale storage pack barrel production big bale storage pack Bison Z056 Sound Pack, Chicken House with Enclosure, DEF Production, Enhanced Fruit Destruction, Flegal ASW256, Hobbs Equipment, Jaws Saddle Plate, Large Liquid Storage, Large Pallet Warehouse, Lizard1221, Lizard Crop Sensor, Lizard Sam 14, Maps JZD Vid Hostess C, Mossy Ferguson 203 Cylinder Series, New Holland L Sound, Old Polish House, Old Wooden Garage, Pondra Top 722, Serta Massa, T103, Great Plateaus, the TLX X52 Tipper, Walls Nice, and last but not least is the XT3T150. Okay, so that's on the PC side. Remember guys, with mods that are on the PC side, they have to first go through the PC testing and then finally enter the console testing. Okay, but anyways, on console, we have Lenny Mountain Chalette, A5000 Pack, Echo Dealer Sign Pack, Alpine Pack, Annaburger HTS 11D04, Annaburger HTS 11D04 Tandem, Annaburger HTS 2203, HTS 2903, AT Way Pack, Komatsu Harvester Pack, Limkin D24, Lizard 44202, Lizard New R Series, Lizard Sadie, Mossy Ferguson ATR Series Pack, Mossy Ferguson 7600, Old Shed, Pack of Old Medium Buildings, Silo for Crops, Slurry Bag, Small Flatbed Trailer, Thunder, Trans 90, Wood Trailer Pack, Wooden Barn, and then last but not least is Wooden Fence. Number mods going to be tested is only three, so one of these days, I'm expecting it's going to be saying zero. Then current average wind time, guys, is only one workday. So that right there, guys, is all the news, the new mods, the mods and testing. That is everything for today. So hopefully I did catch you guys up. But today's schedule after this video, guys, remember, no live stream. Uh, but anyways, we do have a Let's Play series that will be coming out at 2 p.m. Central Standard Time. And that is it. So hopefully you guys do have an amazing rest of your day. If you guys have not already liked this, make sure you guys do hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, welcome to the club, guys. Well, remember, guys, have an amazing day, guys. And peace. I go straight from the bank, gassing up the tank, cranking up the radio, playing old Hank. It ain't that long till I'm back at the farm. I'm pulling up the truck.